In my many years of reporting on camera politics, I've seen many strange things. I've seen politicians lose their nerve, drop their notes, lose their threads, even get phone calls in Parliament. The ringtones echoing across the big old wooden chamber, causing disruption and pain and anger, derision from opposition figures. But today, what happened to the Prime Minister was something else. The Prime Minister has been under great pressure due to his latest budget. The opposition is on a good thing. They feel it. They're pushing as hard as they possibly can to try and engineer an early election. The Prime Minister stood to address the House, but fell over. Fell over with a loud splat that echoed around the chamber and caused sniggers and laughs from the opposition. His own party members rushed forward to try and help him. But he said, in that angry way he has, I'm fine. I don't need your assistance. Please, go back to your seats. He got up, but was clearly in agony. His ankle had swollen to the size of a large watermelon. Watermelons, consequently, that we can't get anywhere else. He began to address Parliament, but the opposition said he fell as flat as his latest budget proposal. The Prime Minister, getting teary-eyed, reached for his notes to try and find a fact that would destroy the opposition. But nothing was forthcoming, and the Prime Minister, turning on his heel, ran from the chamber, slamming the door like a teenager told they can't go to a big rock concert. As I've said, I've seen many strange things in this town, many strange parliamentary sittings, strange meals with politicians at restaurants, whispered backroom deals, but I never thought I'd see the day when a Prime Minister would crack it like a 13-year-old and run from the parliamentary chamber. It's a sick, revolting, disgusting act, and it's something that can never be allowed to happen again. Peter Harvey, Canberra.